welcome back. This is the first of the synthesis videos on uh, on alcohols and phenols. As I said, I'd be uploading a series of videos on alcohol preparation today. And uh, since it's going to take some time for you to really understand all this, I'll be uploading the phenols video later tomorrow. All right. So synthesis of alcohol and one and once I put the reagents, you'd be like, oh, I've seen it somewhere. Yes, you sure have seen it. You've seen it in Chem 330. Okay, now this is one question I have tried my best, or tried my best, and tried my best. It seemed like 60% gets it right, 40% gets it wrong. This is the Markovnikov and the anti Markovnikov. Okay, I'm, I have put some um, hint on on the on the screen so hopefully you either use the hint or use some other way to remember this all right so here is the reactant one of the key uh, components to generating alcohols is one of if your reactant has a double bond okay now we're going to address a different type of double bond pretty soon this is just your regular double bond and the, the detail here is, if you're given BH3, okay, if you see BH3 and hydrogen peroxide, that's a direct indication it's anti Markovnikov's. Okay, I can't, I can't emphasize this anymore, okay? anti Markovnikov's rule, okay? This means I have put this also in the hint as a tip, okay? So let me actually go ahead and put that up here before I actually draw the product. So when you see BH3 and H2O2, this is hydrogen peroxide, okay? You should know that right away, this is anti Markovnikov's. That means the hydrogen gets added to the carbon with less hydrogens and the OH gets added to the carbon with more hydrogens. More importantly, the hydrogen and the OH you add are trans to each other. Okay, that's very, very important, all right? So if you look at this molecule, this carbon already has four bonds, so it has zero hydrogens. This, however, has got one hydrogen already to start with. So where do you think, I'm gonna get out of this full screen mode, okay? So I can use a different color because you know, at one point I was just getting frustrated when I was grading your final exam, is how can I make people remember this stuff? So you're adding your hydrogen to the carbon containing less hydrogens and the OH to the carbon containing more hydrogens. So this is the carbon with less hydrogen. So I'm gonna redraw this. It's very important that you pay attention to the cis and trans, which I'm going to emphasize in this particular video. So, right, well, once you add it, the double bond would no longer be there. So this is the carbon containing less hydrogen. So that's where the hydrogen would go, okay? I am going to highlight it. And then this is the one that already has the hydrogen, means that's where your OH has to go. Okay, this is the broken wedges. This is the closed wedge, okay? When you have this combination, typically, when you have this, that's trans. When you have both as either closed or both as open wedges. So this means cis, okay? Now, it does, you know, whether the hydrogen, whether the hydrogen gets the closed or open, it's up to you, okay? You can also have, but don't switch positions of the hydrogens and the OH, okay? That is wrong, all right? All you can do is, you can now make your hydrogen open, okay? This hydrogen was already there. 
you can make your OH now closed. Both are correct, okay? But the key here is this is trans, okay? I've identified here. Trans means one is open, one is closed. Cis means both are open or both are closed, and that is cis. See, I have not switched the position of the hydrogen and the OH. All I have done here is here I kept the hydrogen closed and OH open. There I've given the OH uh, closed and kept the hydrogen open. Both are correct products. But the takeaway message from this video is whenever you see a double bond and you see a BH3 and H2O2, you are essentially adding H and OH to your product. Where do you add them is what the hint says. The BH3 and hydrogen peroxide should tell you it's anti Marconicals rule. And the key here is you pay attention to the stereo, stereochemistry here. It's trans configuration, all right? So this or that, they're, they're both the same. I mean, they're both trans products, all right? So I just want to make these videos as separate as possible. This way I can keep the time down and also be spend a little bit more time on where is more common cause and when, where is anti more common cause, all right? You just have to somehow remember this, all right? On a long list of things that you have to memorize for other classes, my class, you're, you're really not required to memorize that much information. So this is one thing you just have to muster somehow and then just remember it, all right? So this is the first method of synthesizing alcohols and we have done an anti-Morkovnikov addition by using borane and hydrogen peroxide in tetrahydrofuran and sodium hydroxide. All right, stay tuned for the remaining synthesis of alcohol methods.